Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I was doing some runs for Cape Buffalo and I finally got this guy to show up. So, we're gonna take this guy out with a crossbow because I don't think we've ever done that and I think it'll make for an entertaining video. So, let's see if we can get close to this guy. Now this guy is coming towards us but who knows if he'll stay on this track or not. Obviously, we don't want him getting too close or else we could have some issues with him spooking. Uh, a lot of the stuff in the area has spooked off. I'm pretty sure there was a lion. I did hear one growling, so there's a good chance that that's what spooked him off. But this guy right here... I think it's small horns. I honestly can never tell the difference between small horns and big horns until I see them side by side, so... I have no clue, but hopefully this guy is big horns but I really think it's small horns it really looks like it is I'm also going to try and use no scope but I do have the scope on just in case we can't get it without the scope okay so uh, <laughs> I think we're right on top of it this has got me a little bit scared I really don't want to spook it or make it go aggressive because I don't trust myself using a crossbow on an aggressive Cape Buffalo in. I don't think this is him. No, this is the seven. <gasps> there he is. I think this is him. No, oh, that's a three. Uh-oh. Um, where is he? I don't like this at all. And yeah, he just ran away. Hopefully the others won't follow him. But this is definitely not good. Also, while I'm thinking about it, this is probably going to be a shorter video than normal because uh, as most of you probably know by now, I'm currently moving and by the time this video goes up, I will have already been moved and I'm not sure if I'll have internet or not. So I'm trying to get videos prepared. So there might be a few that will be a little bit shorter in the next couple days, but hopefully we can get the internet situation figured out relatively quick. Alright, so we now have eyes on this level 9 again. Uh, he's in kind of a weird spot. I had to fast travel to the lodge and then walk back down here to get a better angle on him. And he's still not in a great spot. I just don't like the fact that he's in the brush, but I mean, we got to work with what we have. So let's see if we can get close to him. There he is at around 85 meters. If I can get to 70, then I think we should be able to hit this shot. I've been practicing with the slightly longer range shots a little bit, so I think we might be able to pull something off. We'll have to see. Uh, once again, he's in a terrible spot, unfortunately, so this is going to be difficult, but I think we can do it if we're careful. Although, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a long range shot like I'd like to. We might have to get close up. I mean, either way, we'll try to get him down regardless, so just see what we can do. Okay, he's at 93. I think we can actually pull this off. Need to get a spot on him again. Uh oh, he is... Oh, are you kidding me? He's fleeing. Um, try something that may or may not work. Um, hopefully this will work out. I didn't expect him to flee. You know, I'm very surprised he didn't attack us. I would have thought he would have charged, but I guess not. So this is really unfortunate, and this is just going to prolong the sock, which is definitely not ideal and not what I wanted to happen. But there he is right there. If we're lucky, maybe we can get him to stop and then sneak up to about 90. Because I think I'm comfortable taking a 90 meter shot. I don't want to go any further than that, though. Alright, so I had to reset the time to get him to come back because he was just not cooperating and now he's up here on the hill so he will be coming down here and should give us a better shot than before at least here we can try to get his attention and get him to go alert so we can actually get a shot so this should work out perfect and if it doesn't well I don't know <laughs> all right he is closing in pretty quickly is it 70 right now 65 it's getting close we're almost at a spot where we can take a shot on him 
Okay, I think now is the time. smoked him yes we got him okay that actually worked out perfect now I'm glad that he spooked off the first couple times because it put us in such a perfect spot to actually take him out and we managed to get a lung shot with the 600 grain bolts that is awesome so let's just hope this guy's a diamond because I'm pretty sure this is small horns uh, like I said at the beginning of this video I I really can't tell the difference but I think it's the small horns but look at that shot perfectly tucked it right behind the shoulder that is awesome what a beautiful creature this thing is so let's go ahead and see is this guy a diamond it is 15420 and I think this might be the biggest one we've killed it's definitely small horns but I think this will replace the one we currently have. I'm pretty sure it's bigger than our current best, so that's pretty cool. That's definitely really cool. And we took it from 50 meters with the 600 grain uh, broadhead bolts. Look at that. The amount of penetration on that. And it pretty much hit where we were aiming, maybe a little bit low, which is to be expected because we were kind of a little bit further than 50 and it is 0 to 50, so... Overall, I'd say that was pretty good. It worked just how it was intended to. Nice. All right, everybody. We are here in the Trophy Lodge. Now, I don't remember where exactly I put the Cape Buffalo that we had in here previously. I'm pretty sure it's down on this bottom floor. And yes, it is in here by this Cape Buffalo. So let's go ahead and see what this one was. It was 155. Okay, so this one actually is bigger. Which means the one that we just got will not be put in this lodge. We are going to put it in our secondary lodge most likely. Because we don't really need another one in here since we already have one. Alright, here he is. Here's the cape buffalo that we just took out. For now, he's just going to sit in the secondary lodge here. So, it's too bad that we couldn't replace something today. But at least we did get a diamond cape buffalo. I've been grinding them for a couple hours and then this guy finally spawned in so I figured we would make a video out of him and he's a pretty sweet trophy even though once again he's not as big as the one that we currently have but still really really cool and definitely one of the cooler diamonds in general. One thing that I've noticed about Verhonga is I only get my diamond cape buffalo at two of the lakes. There's only two lakes that I've ever found diamonds at, that being the one that we just got this guy from and then the lake that obviously everybody already knows because it's such a good cape buffalo spot. So those two lakes are the only ones I've ever found diamond capes at. All the other ones have been absolutely nothing. So I don't know if there's something to that, but I feel like there might be there might be a higher chance of getting diamonds at those lakes, but who knows? I'll let you guys decide that, but anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. A little bit shorter than normal, but like I said, I am in the process of moving, and at this point, I don't know if I'll have internet by the time this video goes up. So, I'm just trying to get a few of these shorter videos out so that I can have them scheduled just in case I can't get internet in time. But, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace! If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.